Hey guys, today we are going to have a look at this detailed hammer. This is made by HG and it's the P408 and this thing is amazing. It is very detailed, very scale and this weighs about a ton or something. So let's get started. <laughs> So the Hummer H1 made by HG. So this is the P408 and the car is uh, a scale model of the real thing. And they have added a lot of stuff to this car to make it look real. Uh, and they did a pretty nice job. So the top part of this car is all made of plastic. But the bottom part, so the chassis and everything, is all metal. And therefore this car weighs around uh, 8 or 9 kilograms. And it's a real beast. So let's take a look at all the details they have added. So let's start at the front of the car. So in the front you will have your headlights and uh, you will have some uh, night uh, light. I think, I'm not sure, there's a light kit uh, on its way. So normally you will have an extra bull bar mounted here. But I bought it second hand and I yeah, disassembled the whole car because it was in a rough state. But now it's all fine. But there are still some pieces on its way. So you've got some D hooks and this from, from uh, this side up everything is plastic from this side down everything is made of metal but I will show you that in a bit so uh, you've got a metal snorkel you've got some wipers you've got some hooks uh, over there and when we turn the car around you can see some little hinges uh, you've got two, uh, one on this side and one on the opposite side and when you loosen those you can open the bonnet or the hood uh, you've got some uh, mirrors and all the doors can be opened which is uh, very nice uh, to see so inside the car you've got a very detailed interior with some soft uh, rubber seat so that's pretty nice you've got a steering wheel and some uh, shifters over there you've got a radio system uh, over there you've got some gauges yeah it's a uh, they added a lot of details to this car. So the rear seat's also made of soft, uh, a soft material, some rubber. So yeah, let's close those. And at the rear, you've got a, a little piece that can open, so the hood can be opened. And these are like uh, spring tension, but they are, have some rubber inside, so. Yeah, it closes uh, softly, so like a soft close system, so that's pretty nice to see. So you've got uh, uh, the tailgate, you have to unhook these little hooks to open the tailgate. And then you can see some fake stand and a fake machine gun. Let me refocus so you can see that. No, it's still not there. Yeah, well. Here it is. Inside this ammunition box you put your battery in. So you've got uh, the little connector. So you slide in a 2S or a 3S battery and you close it up. So you won't see a thing of it. So that's pretty nice. Of course you've got some tail lights. And yeah, uh, like I mentioned the lights uh, are on its way. And yeah, to close it you have to hook this little hook again and yeah, it's a bit fig fiddly to do but uh, yeah, that's fine. So you've got some D-hooks at the rear, you've got a tow hook on this side and this is all metal. And the opposite side, yeah, it's, uh, it's the same as uh, the other side. So all the doors open and you've got your fill cap over here. So that's, uh, that's nice to see. So the top of the car you have uh, a fake machine gun which actually turns and the whole uh, mount turns like the real thing. So that's nice to see. You can remove this one and then you, ca you can also open this hatch. So it's a two way folding system. So you can put some figures inside there if you would like and then install the machine gun for some realism. Yeah, that uh, all looks uh, pretty nice and uh, everything works superb. Uh, yeah, let me turn the car around and show you the bottom. 
sorry, let's open the hood or the bummet first. So you've got some little hatches over here. Just open those and then you can open the hood. So you will see an en engine bay right over here, which is pretty nice to see. And you've got two little clips when you open this one. Oh. When you open those you can access your electronics so i've uh, mounted the power hd uh, all metal server of 35 kilograms this is my fly sky receiver and underneath there is my um, hobby wing brushless setup so yeah the car drives amazing so let me turn the car around and show you the on the side so underneath the car, everything you see is metal. So you've got metal chassis rails, metal suspension arms, you've got all metal drive lines, even the, the exhaust system is made of metal. Every bit and piece is made of metal. They have added only a few uh, plastic parts just to add some detailing to this car, but that's uh, all, everything is yeah just solid and therefore it weighs a ton. So it's four wheel drive, it's got two speeds and it's got locked discs, but you can unlock the disc by removing a little screw inside the pumpkin over here. So when you remove this little screw, then your discs are open if you uh, retighten it again, uh, then your diffs are locked as my setup is. So a thing what I don't like about this car, the, that are the springs and or the shocks. Because they are not oil filled, they are just friction shock. There is a little bit of grease inside there, but yeah, I really don't like those. So I ordered myself a couple of, uh, of uh, shocks, uh, which are oil filled, but I'm not sure if they are going to fit this car. But uh, yeah, we will uh, find out in the future. So normally this car comes with this transmitter, but I bought it used, so mine didn't came with any transmitter. So we are just going to use my tiny Flysky 7 channel transmitter on this car. So uh, the steering angle. The steering of this car is terrible. The angle is just no, almost nothing and it's just like an elephant of a steering angle. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, so uh, the drive line, uh, this is the high speed and this is low speed and you can see all the drive lines spinning and yeah it's just amazing while driving. So let me turn the car around. So let me try to show you the steering angle, so this is maxed out. You can hardly see it moving, you know, yeah. So uh, let's take it outside for a drive.
So guys, that was the driving with the Hummer and I really like it. Because of the weight of the car it drives so realistic and I really like it. So uh, I think what I forgot to mention, you can remove the top side of the car so you can transform it into a convertible. So there are just a couple of screws, you've got two screws over here, one on each side and then underneath a couple of screws and then you can remove the top piece of the car and then you've got a convertible. So overall I really love the car. Uh, there are some things what, what I don't like and that is the suspension. The shocks they have used they are just like friction shocks. I would like to have seen uh, oil filled shocks but I have ordered some, uh, some different ones to see if any will fit inside the car and the steering angle of the car is just terrible. But overall the car is amazing and it really drives amazing. Alright guys that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my my channel and if you got any questions or suggestions please leave a comment below i will see you in the next video bye bye